Shalom, 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 um, and it provoked me to do this video through the spirit just to touch on that was a very beautiful um very beautiful what the sister said um so we have to be able to have discernment in this walk and have honesty you know honesty not just honest when um somebody asks you if you did something and you're honest you know not just honesty you know not lying to others but also honesty within yourself not lying to yourself, not deceiving yourself, you know, being honest with yourself, um, self-examining, knowing what you struggle with, knowing what spirits are attacking you, knowing what areas, um, needs to be worked on. You see what I'm saying? Um, so I want to get this piece up. John 15 and 2, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away and every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So we have to be able to self-examine and see what are some spirits that are attacking us, that, that Satan. What spirits are attacking us from Satan? You know, um, what are some bad traits that you may have? We all have some traits that we need to work on. What are some unhealthy and bad habits that you may have? What are some seeds that Satan may be planting and you're feeding them? Seeds of Satan may be lust, envy, greed, any wicked, nasty spirits or demons. So that's why self-examination is so important. And all it takes is a seed. Because, you know, when you put that seed in soil and you water it, it blossoms. It becomes a tree. It can become a fruit. It blossoms. All it takes is a little water and being consistent with it. So if you're constantly feeding into these things that Satan is planting in you, that can blossom and become a very bad, bad fruit. And it could ultimately be the detriment of you. So that's why it is very important to be real with yourself, to be able to take correction and humble down and be like, you know what? I do need to work on that. I do need to work on that. And weed out that seed from the enemy. Weed it out. Because if you don't bear fruit, the Lord just said that he's going to purge it. He's going to purge you if you're not bearing fruit. But if you bear fruit, he's going to allow you to bring forth more fruit. So we want to bear good fruit in this thing so that we may prosper and be better servants unto you. How about you? How about you? So it's very important that we be real with ourselves and know what areas um, need to be worked on. And with that, I want to get first... Um, 1 Corinthians 3 and 6. I have planted, Apollos watered, but Yahweh gave the increase. So we have to be able to water our seeds from the Most High and not the seeds of Satan. You know, because when we water our seeds from the Lord, the Lord is able to increase us. It says Yahweh gave the increase. The Lord is able then to increase us so that we may be able to grow to be better women, better servants of Yahweh, better wives, better mothers, better sisters, etc., etc., etc. You know, so we don't want to water these seeds of Satan because it's going to blossom to something very ugly and nasty. And it could ultimately overtake us <clears throat> and we fall back into the world because that seed increased and it blossomed to something so big that it overtook you and you were given over unto it. So, sisters, we must examine ourselves. And that's the next piece of 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. And it reads... Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith, prove your own selves, know you not your own selves, how to have my shaggy house shot in you, except you be reprobates. So, sisters, we got to examine ourselves. We got to examine ourselves and see, does your house shot really dwell within us? Does your house shot not shot really dwell within us? Or is it Satan dwelling within you because you're constantly feeding off of those seeds? You're constantly watering those seeds and you're not focusing on your seeds in your garden from the most high. We got to examine ourselves and see what areas we need to work on, see how we can do better. We all have something to work on. I'd be a lie. You'd be lying to yourself saying that you have nothing to work on. You'd be lying to yourself, sis, saying that you don't give in to those 
um, bad character traits or those wicked spirits. We all fall. But adjustment falls and we get back up. Uh, adjustment falls and we get back up. So we have, I'm going to keep saying it, we have to be real with ourselves. We have to look in the mirror and see what is it that we're feeding. What spirits are we feeding? You know, how are you moving throughout the day? How is your spirit like? What characteristics traits do you have? You know, um, then I want to get this from Luke 13 and 6. He spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit therein, and he found none. Then said he unto the dresser, of his vineyard. Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit in this fig tree and find none. Cut it down while come with it to the ground. And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. So if we don't bear fruit in this thing, that's in red. How shall I say they going to cut it down? So we do not bear fruit in this thing. We bear good fruit, we're going to get cut down. We don't want to get our living waters cut off and be cast out because we don't have good fruits it is very important to have good fruits so sisters examine yourself see what type of seeds are you watering what does your garden look like is your garden overflowing with seeds from the enemy seeds from satan or is your garden overflowing with seeds of the most high because when you water your seeds from the most high you increase the most is able to increase you so that you may be a better servant but if you're watering your seeds from the enemy you're just only going to increase in your wickedness, which could be the detriment of you and you, your living waters are cut off because you're not bearing any good fruit. So, sisters, be real with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror. Look at your garment. Look at your spirit. What type of traits do you have? What type of fruits do you have? How do you move? How do you act? What habits do you have? You know, what type of things are you feeding off of? Are you constantly feeding into those seeds and giving into the lust of the flesh and giving into Satan? Are you trying to be better and weed out those seeds of the enemy so that you may attend unto your garden of the most high so that you may be a better servant? So weed out the seeds of the enemy and water the seeds from the most high so they may, so that you may be pure and so that the most high may increase you to be better. Well, willing, this, um, if you have an ear to hear, let them hear. Well, willing, y'all continue to do. I love y'all. Shalom.